This is Doug at Crush, and I want to do a little comparison video. Uh, this is the new; these are the new drivers for uh, 3D Connections uh, Space Mouse Pro, and this is 64-bit um, 2015 SketchUp. That's going to be quite a mouthful, so I hope they uh, optimize the name soon. Anyway, uh, and I did a video the other day about. Um, how much I like this mouse and I do I absolutely love it but uh, it does have some drawbacks in 64-bit that it didn't have in 32 um, mostly rendering issues uh, causes a lot of lag for the equipment now it kinda worked itself out uh, in the latest driver release in the 32-bit but now that we're in the real world with 64 um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna just take my hand off the mouse and it's very laggy and I tell you exactly the reason is too is because it's rendering uh, this engine everything in this yard is rendering at the same time and this is a pretty good sized model it's about 41 megs and um, I took uh, some of the things out of it I took some of the like I took the 2d plan layer out and uh, there's a little bit of optimization that I did for it but not a lot uh, because I want to see what it would really do and if you could watch the resource meter you can see it's just eating up all of the CPUs so and that's a good thing but uh, what it does is it just lags when you're doing something big and the reason why is it's rendering every single pixel all the way through this entire model all the way inside the warehouse anything even stuff you cannot see because it doesn't know not to um, it's not a part of the driver to you know like it is in SketchUp now when you um, If you mouse scroll you'll see how all of the texture disappear and then they pop back on and that's what optimizes uh, SketchUp for actually navigating and Even though it is see it is still kind of jerky and it doesn't work very good. So um, This with the space mouse see, I'm in this little tiny area and it's only seeing so much so it's not as bad but when you get out here and see, I've been, I'm going the same speed I was before, and then I'm rendering everything in it. So that's one thing about SketchUp is see how it gets rid of all of the tires and all the little details. But if you look at this model, it's actually, see, I can go really fast when I'm up in something because there's nothing behind it to render. So SketchUp's not rendering it, but you can see the nuts of the, on the thing, on the, uh, um, tires and all the lug nuts and everything and you can see the air hoses in the back for the brakes and um, see when you when you're doing something like this it'll go nice and smooth and that, that's why it's such a great tool for using for like inside of a house or um, like I have my little uh, uh, condo model I was looking at and it doesn't have a lot to do but as soon as you get up here it just drags and it'll still go really really fast if you're going you know if you're going somewhere where you don't need to go so what I've been doing is kind of zooming in and then rolling down low um, and some of it is driver optimization because um, 3d connection had to pop these drivers out they weren't ready for SketchUp they were still in uh, testing phase and I'm sure these are beta hopefully they'll do something with it uh, I'm hoping but I think it's gonna have to be uh, you know they're gonna have to really get into it a little bit but um, what I did notice is if you click on the eyeball see right there where you know like in SketchUp you're just looking around if you click on that you can move and it will not render anything while you're moving just like he does in SketchUp so if you click on that you can actually navigate very smoothly through everything and what I what I really like about this thing so you can just get right into everything that's here but it's not rendering half of it and then when you put on the select tool see then it's all of a sudden you know the uh, the movement is rendered just normally because you're not navigating in it so just a little something you can do it the walk tool you can do the same thing and so it won't render while it's moving and it's because the uh, that's a camera um, 
movement and it's programmed. SketchUp is actually programmed that when you're in a camera movement, it doesn't, when you're actually moving, it doesn't uh, render everything. So here we go, here's a good shot. And it's gonna pop on there. Um, anyway, it might speed things up a little bit for some people. Um, I'm not totally unhappy with it, but I think the drivers need to be optimized um, probably a little bit better. However, I, I do like the fact that when you're in a select tool and you're in a small model, like, you're, like uh, for instance, this is a separate model. It's locked right now. But uh, when I'm only in that particular model, it actually works really well. It, it works beautifully, and you can't beat it. It's a very sensitive touch, but, you know, it's see, look, it just renders everything beautifully while you're moving around in it. You can see exactly what's going on with the model. This particular little one wasn't really complicated, but, uh, and it doesn't have a ton of textures in it, but this building over here does, and so it just kind of drags down. Um, I'm hoping they're going to, there's a lot of detail in these uh, containers right here. And if it doesn't, it's, if it doesn't have to render everything behind it, it actually does okay. So that's why I've been going down low, and uh, it, it does just does a beautiful job. So anyway, the um, so if there's issues with you know going in big models, then just hit the um, the examine icon with a little eyeball, and you can cruise around pretty well, even with like every one of these detailed. Uh, trailers that we have here and these uh, these are IBCs but when I do something up close to this I want it all rendered I want to see what everything really looks like the point of view from the forklift driver or um, you know what the product looks like on the on the trailers themselves so it's just a matter of going real slow anyway so that's maybe help somebody uh, get through that little hurdle right there and off we go so anyway hope that was helpful if it wasn't well don't watch it again <laughs>